it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. I just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. I feel like we're uh, horse with blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have Corrupt sex and then I pulled crap, up. but it's nice. <laughs>
<laughs> Interesting. <laughs> uh, for me, life during lockdown felt like prison, you know. Um, I'm six, I, was, I stayed six hours away from home. I couldn't see my family for like close to six months. Um, it was depressing. I would cry, I would cry, like literally do a live crying that I miss home. Um, because of the restrictions of traveling, I couldn't get home. So it was very frustrating. But I saw there was a gap of um, the less fortunate people not being paid attention to. And then I, as a humanitarian, I used the lockdown as a tool to embrace what I can do, what I love doing. And I saw a gap in, since there's lockdown, there's no more shopping, there's no more partying, there's extra cash in my pocket. Why not give it to the less fortunate people? Then I started a movement to give back to the less fortunate people. Uh, Relationship-wise, it took me back to the mixed days, peak mixed love. You know, the only time I can be with my sweetheart is when I do a picnic, like mix pictures together, col- columns, whatever you call them, collapse. There's no physical touch. There's no hugging, kissing and hugging is the things of the past. As the president has said, I am actually living that life. You know, literally, I'm in a cell phone based relationship and it, it's a new relationship, by the way. We are six months together. and I don't know how we survived it. Okay, Monique, how was your life like? Oh my God. I was in a, like, totally depressed, basically, because I am, even though I perform, I'm a a natural introvert, and I use that time to regenerate, and then being forced to be inside all the time, it, it, it changed the dynamic of of how I use alone time and, you know, my introvert time, I call it. Um, it's like a year, I was just, it was like being forced into solid, solitary confinement, but I would do that to myself normally. But then when you're told that you have to, then it didn't feel reju- rejuvenating at all. So it, I felt exhausted all the time. I actually um, started doing therapy on, with, on Zoom during lockdown because I just thought, you know, maybe I should start addressing some of my own personal past things that I never, uh, never dealt with. And I thought, well, it's a perfect time to try to get my head straight on um, some of that stuff. And, and that's, been, um, that's been really helpful, I think. And... Um, but as far as a uh, relationship, like we're great companions and he's a really good friend and I feel comfortable. I feel safe. He's easy to be around and we, we enjoy doing the same stuff still, but the, like, it's like you, when it's just strange to not have outside stimulus because you come home to somebody it's to just be with someone 24 seven is is just it's unnerving i just never thought i would be in a situation where i'd be looking at somebody for 24 hours a day i've been like with the, my partner for a longest period i think we stayed together for two years now but there's something that was literally unique and different um when like, literally the country locked down and what i know I, I i always sleep with her and we always have dynamic sex and I felt like this lockdown literally locked my brain as well. I couldn't feel like having sex. And, you know, sometimes she will be like, baby, I want sex. And I'll be like, okay, my love. And we will do that sex. But I will literally cut off or sleep in between that. So or sometimes I will like, you know what, I'm very tired. But I don't even know what literally made me tired. It's just that the strength and the, 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 the issues that, come, that came, came with the lockdown and it really hit at me. My sex drive literally went from high to low. Yo. Because, uh, yeah, to Yo. low, literally. Yo. Lockdown is not sexy. <laughs> My partner and I have not had sex at all. Like the, that's the last thing I want is sex. It has killed my sex drive for some reason. All I've, I've masturbated a lot, but I don't want to be like, it's, I've gone into this weird freak state of like watching weird porn and masturbating but i don't want to be like touched at all it's really bizarre what it's done 
and then is it you, uh, huh is it you that does not want to be touched or you just literally don't want to be touched like are you initiating the fact that you don't want to be touched or really your partner does not touch you no i don't i haven't wanted to before lockdown i i didn't i didn't i didn't have time for sex i was like oh my god I was like, oh my God, I didn't have time for girls, I didn't have time for sex. And the lockdown came, yo, dude, my way from, uh, it's like, it's like an invert of terror's like experience. My way from, from like low to a high, like, yo, I haven't had sex in like, I don't know. But lately I'm like, I'm like sexing, bro. I'm like sexing, bro. Like I'm, I'm like out your gushy, literally. So it's like, uh, 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 the, the, the time that I didn't have sex in like the before the lockdown, I'm like repaying that. I'm like repaying myself because more like um, Monica, I'm also an introvert also, but you know, sometimes man, you just got to move out of the space, bro. You know? So there was this one time when, when I heard, when I had my, my girlfriend, we've been dating for like two weeks now. Yo, and then like she came for like uh, a sleepover, and then like everything was just out, bro. Our we were gushing for the sake for the sake that it's a lockdown, and for the sake that you know what we can't do anything like outside, so why not stay inside and just smash? So we were like sexing each other out. So what it, about it, pregnancy? It, uh, what about pregnancy? <laughs> Did you thought of that when you were like literally banging all the time? Yeah, I think. Dude, I think of pregnancy every time I bang. So that's why like I'm like I'm like cautious. I'm not like other guys, by the way. Like my mind works. I don't know. Um I think Monica might be familiar with the term euphoria. Okay. Yeah, my mind is like euphoric. So everything that I do, I'm cautious of it. And even with sex, now when it's time to pull out, it's time to pull out. That's what we yeah. What what happened to social distancing during lockdown? <laughs> what the what? <laughs> That's true. We don't practice that. What happened? What happened? We don't practice that. Yo, that's for that's for old people. That's for the grannies and the and the grandpas. We now. Nah, My dream um is to the universe to give me a break, you know, and pull me through to my success because I've worked so hard. I have a lot of content that I've been doing and I have a lot of amazing films that I've been editing and um, I just need to be pulled out by the universe so that I can be free. I feel like it's my time to shine and, but there are a lot of things that are making me to flow down and my dream is to, you know, have that in my life. I'd like to get my music to a lot of people, to a lot of audience and like, get a, 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 a proper person to like help me reach a certain audience, you know? So my dream is only that, just to get my music to a lot of people. And because my music contains a lot of message of my past experiences and my current experiences. So I'd like to, to, to like take it far, you know, very far. So that's my only dream, bro. My dream is to, my dream is, I don't know. My dream is to <laughs> hug a stranger again. That's one one of my dreams. I really, I really miss the dynamic of other people. I want to hug. I want to hug a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, you should ever sit and talk with people, or else take a walk and create this straight talk. Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger. Listen what is right and say what is wrong. You should ever sit and talk with people, or else take a walk and create this great talk. Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger. Listen what is right and say what is wrong.